Could your child end up being the next Michael Phelps or LeBron James? For $149, a new genetic test might help you find out. A company called Atlas Sports Genetics says it can test for the presence of certain genes that may shed some light on what sports a child can excel in. There are already tests that can determine a person's predisposition to disease, and those tests have been a powerful tool in preventing things like breast cancer. Why is it that some men just can't seem to settle down? New research indicates it may be part of their DNA. We see it all the time. Some men just have a tough time being monogamous and there seems to be an endless supply of excuses. They have a lot going on right now in their life. Um, they're just busy with work, their career. I'm too young is my favorite one, especially when they're like 35. It's a good one. <laughs> but commitment phobia may be biological. According to a Swedish study, the presence of a genetic variation makes a man less likely to stay in a committed, stable relationship. Of the 552 men in the study, 40% had this variation. And the more variations present in their DNA, the more trouble the men had in their relationships. I mean, my mom never thought this would work out. <laughs> she was all, once a cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> So DNA may answer the question why some men can't commit, but it brings up another question. If given the opportunity, would you want to know? Yes, I'd be interested. <laughs> I'd be curious. Sure. Yeah, why not? And joining us now is psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Good morning. Good morning. You looked over this study. Is it real? Does it seem real to you? It's definitely an important study, and it, it definitely leads us in a direction. Is, na is it nature versus nurture? And this study basically says it's in the genes. A guy's going to wander around. It's just, you know, what are you going to do about right. it? Right. What's monumental about it, I think, is it says two out of, every, of five men have this genetic variation, which mm -hmm. is a lot. Yeah. So we have to really think about what is the nature versus nurture argument, and can it be counteracted? So can we think about what do we need to do if we know we have this genetic mutation and how can we treat it so can we be aware here's my real question you're a spouse you're a partner mm -hmm. you know that whoever you're with may be prone to this right should you just look the other way or should you say honey it's it's not it's not just genes. Well, hopefully, I don't have a spouse who has this gene, so we'll, we're hoping that. <laughs> I'm not asking you personally, but we have to think about professionally things. If we're aware of them, we really can treat them. So it's no different than someone who has real social difficulties and giving them skills to manage that better. Mm -hmm. So if we're aware that we have this genetic or, issue, or the question could be on the other side, why treat it if that's the way it is? Sure, there's a, but why treat anything if that's the way it is? We can walk around with lots of depressed and anxious people too. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, thanks very much. Thank all right, medical news now. Think your kid is destined for bad behavior? A research team may have found the gene to prove your case. And believe it or not, the family dinner may prevent the trend eventually. Doctor and psychiatrist Gabby Cora is with us now. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, Beth. Have scientists located the so-called crime gene, do you think? You know, there is a very high genetic predisposition for aggression. Uh, as well as modulated emotion and cognition. So we're on track to finding more and more about this uh, behavior. But we really do have to be alert on the flags of the bad behavior. And we can see this early on. That's why it's so important for us to try to figure out what to do ahead of the game before all these bad behaviors well, start how manifesting do you, How themselves. do you see it early on, doctor? You can see this range of delinquency from early on, a child may not be acting appropriately, they may already be cutting corners, uh, stealing, they may already be showing some of this violent be behavior early on. That's why it's so important to intervene with discipline, with teaching them stress management skills. There's many things that we can do. 